Hey VC, it's Jonathan, your cheap and cheerful record collector. Um, you see a different background. I'm sort of fooling around and trying to see which way is easiest to make a video without having to do a lot of setup. I mean, a lot of times I'll have to move a chair into the room and get another table and set things up. And I just wanted to do it simple and easily. So I'm trying different experiments to do different uh, setups. Um, and this is just a easier way for me to do it. We'll see how this works. Okay, so this video, uh, someone showed a record by an artist the other day and was saying how he's a great artist, but his records are really inexpensive. So I started thinking about that and I got five artists that I think are great, great artists and you can pick their records up for under $5 all the time. And why certain artists who are really good records are inexpensive and other ones who I personally, I could care less about are very expensive. Who knows? Anyway, I just thought I'd show these five artists and the albums I have by them. And, uh, oh, and a bonus at the end. Okay. So the first artist, which I love, I saw him live here in Portland about uh, 10, 12 years ago, gave a solo show, was fantastic, is uh, Graham Parker. And Graham Parker was part of that 80s, uh, British pub rock scene with Elvis Costello, Joe Jackson, uh, Nick Lowe, all those people. This is his first album, Howl and Wind, with White Honey, um, Back to School Days, Soul Shoes, Lady Doctor, Howl and Wind, Don't Ask Me Questions. That's amazing, fantastic album, all the time for a bar, for under five dollars. Here's his follow up to that, which is up the up the the up escalator, the up escalator. And Graham Parker with The Rumor. And this has uh, No Holding Back, Devil Sidewalk, Stupefication, uh, Paralyzed, um, Love Without Greed. Great stuff. Another Graham Parker. This is uh, Another Gray Day. This is the third album. Not as great as the other ones, but still a solid album. Temporary Beauty, which is great. Dark Side of the Bright Lights, Big Fat Zero. You hit the spot. Graham Parker. More Graham Parker. Uh, the Real Macaw. One of my favorites. Uh, Mona Lisa's sister. Uh, Don't Let It Break You Down. Under the Mask of Happiness. Uh, get Started. Uh, get Started, Start a Fire. Uh, the Girl Isn't Ready. Uh, fantastic stuff. Got all my Graham Parker here. Graham Parker, live in the USA, live in America, I mean, live alone. Just great solo live album. This is Heat Treatment. I think we're up to the mid-80s now. No, 76. 76 on that one. Graham Parker and the Rumor, Stick It To Me. Fantastic record. Uh, stick it to me. I'm going to tear you down. Playhouse. I'm going to tear your playhouse down. Uh, Soul on Ice. The New York Shuffle. <laughs> so good. The Heat in Harlem. Grand Park in the Room with Brinsley Schwartz. That whole gang. 1977. Uh, and one of his most popular ones, Squeezing Out Sparks. Sorry about the glare there. That's better. Yeah. Squeezing Out Sparks. Um, Grand Park and the Rumor, Discovering Japan, Local Girls, Passion is an Ordinary Word, um, uh, Waiting for the UFOs, Don't Get Excited, great, great, great. Then he had Grand Parker and The Shot, Steady Nerves, not my favorite, but still solid record. And the last one I have by him is a, uh, promo, Grand Park in the Rumor, The Black Pink Parker, 33 and a third, uh, for radio only. Four songs, extended EPA, 12 inch, uh, four songs, just great. Graham Parker and the Rumor. Second artist, again, you see his stuff everywhere for two, three, four, five bucks at the most. A great artist, and um, again, you don't need to spend a lot of money to have a great collection. So I'll start off with Jackson Brown, my second artist. This is his first album. Basically, it's called Jackson Brown. Well, everybody calls it Saturate Before Using, but I think the official title is just Jackson Brown. And um, Rock Me on the Water, My Opening Farewell, um, you know all those songs. 
So that's my second artist, Jackson Brown. I'll just quickly go through all my Jackson Brown albums. This is uh, Late for the Sky, uh, The Pretender. We all know that. Um, Running on Empty. Just great stuff. Hold Out. Lawyers in Love. And last but not least, Lives in the Balance. Those are all my Jackson Brown albums. And again, for under five, five bucks or under, these you can get these everywhere, all the time. The next artist is another artist that is, uh, I think, fantastic. I saw her once, just phenomenal. Um, passed away way too young. And you see her, I see her records all the time at Goodwill for a buck or two or three, which is a shame because she's such a great artist. And it's Laura Nero. This is her, the first songs, which was released under another name. And then later on, after she had a couple other albums out, they re-released it as, as the first songs. But this is Wedding Bell Blues on here. I mean, if you don't know Laura Nero, you know Wedding Bell Blues, you know Stone Soul Picnic. She wrote all those songs. Um, Stony End. Lazy Susan, Flim Flam Man, great album. Her second album, Eli and the 13th Confession. And then uh, this is Christmas and the Beads of Sweat. And then my favorite by her is Gonna Take a Miracle with featuring La Belle. And that's when I saw her, actually. I went, I went to see LaBelle, Patti LaBelle and the Bluebells. And uh, Laura Nero was in the audience. She came up on stage and sang an uh, encore with them, which was great. But this album is fantastic. This album has I Met Him on a Sunday, The Bells, You Really Got a Hold on Me, Spanish Harlem, Jimmy Mack, It's Gonna Take a Miracle. Fantastic album. And again, two, three, four, five bucks everywhere. <clears throat> And then some of her later stuff, uh, Season of Lights. It's an in-concert album. And this one I see all the time, Nested. Another great album by Laura. The only one of that whole crew, which may be a little more expensive and hard, really hard to find, I was really lucky I ran into this. This is Laura Nero Live at the Bottom Line. And this one may be a little more than five bucks, but still probably... Well worth it. I love this. It's a fantastic album. All right. Next artist is another artist that he never really made it because he was sort of didn't know a genre to fit him in. He wasn't rock. He wasn't folk. He wasn't blues. He wasn't country. He's a little bit of mix up of everything, but he played on everybody's record and amazing musician. Again, I saw him here in Portland uh, about two years ago, and it is David Bromberg. This is his first album. And I got him to sign that for me when I saw him here. He basically, um, though this album is just great. Uh, got to suffer to sing the blues. Uh, Delia. Mississippi blues. The Hold Up. Sammy song. This is from uh, late, I don't have a date on here, but got to be late 60s. David Romberg plays guitar, fiddle, banjo, mandolin. There's nothing he doesn't play. Amazing musician and a great guy. Um, he actually quit the business for about a decade or two. And he spent his time basically making uh, fiddles, violins. And that's the movie that was show they showed that movie, the documentary about him, his violin making at the Portland Museum of Art. And he came and uh, gave a little concert afterwards. And that's when I got him to sign the album for me. His second album... Just great. Demon in Disguise. Um, Sharon, one of my favorite songs by him. Uh, Jug Band Sound, Mr. Bojangles. He was really friendly with um, Jerry Jeff Walker. They played a lot together. And uh, Mr. Bojangles, the two of them, sang that a lot. Yes. And also, Wanted Dead or Alive. He was on top of the... Empire State Building, there he is. Love that back cover, there he is, looking in the window. <laughs> and this has, um, Jerry Garcia's on this album with him. 
as well as Tracy Nelson singing Back Up, uh, The Hold Up, uh, Danger Man, Send Me to the Electric Chair, Kansas City, Newly Highway Blues, you know that from the Grateful Dead, um, Midnight on the Water, this is a promo that I got picked up, this is uh, Dave Bromberg and his band, I listened to this just yesterday actually, um, really good, really liked it, jokes on me, if I get lucky, great stuff. And this is the David Romberg band, Reckless Abandon. And the last one I got was a Greatest Hits album, the best of David Romberg. So any of those albums I would pick up, any of the David Romberg albums, you see them around for less than five bucks, I would jump on that immediately. Great stuff. And uh, I think the last artist is probably the best pop vocalist pop rock vocalist of that I can ever remember. Fantastic. Yet you see her albums everywhere for nothing, for two, three, four, five bucks. And of course, it's the great Linda Ronstad. I got a lot of Linda Ronstad albums. I love her and fantastic. Hand Sewn. And what's the title of this one? This is, uh, I can't remember the name of this one, but we all know the album. Linda Ronstadt, fantastic. This has Rock Me on the Water. Uh, I Still Miss Someone. I Fall to Pieces. Rambling Round. Rescue Me. Pfft, amazing. And this is Don't Cry Now. That was Desperado. You know, because everybody knows that Linda Ronstadt's backup band was the Eagles before they became the Eagles. They were all playing back up for her. And by this album, this is the one where she really started to take off and heart like a wheel. And this album, she really hit her peak. You're no good, faithless love, heart like a wheel. When will I be loved? Willin. Fantastic. And again, Prisoner in Disguise, another amazing record. <laughs> Linda, God. Um, this one has Love is a Rose, Hey Miss That's Me on the Jukebox, Tracks of My Tears, Heat Wave, Prisoner in Disguise, Too Many Rivers to Cross, Many, I mean, many Rivers to Cross, uh, Phenomenal. This is when she's really at her peak. This is um, Hasten Down the Wind. We all know this album. And Simple Dreams. Living in the USA. <laughs> I love that album. Love the cover. And what else we got here? We have Mad Love. This one's not my favorite, but still some good cuts on there. And then she did a whole bunch of things with the uh, Nelson Riddle Orchestra. This is what's new, the first one she did with them. And then this album, next album I've been looking for forever and finally found it uh, about a year or so ago. And this is her Spanish album, and it's called Canchinos de mi, de, mi, de mi Padre, Songs of My Father, I assume. But fantastic stuff. She put out two albums, I think, two Spanish language albums, and just great stuff. So those are the five artists that you can find for, let's say, under $5, $5 or under anywhere, and great, great music. The bonus I'm going to do is a record label. It's a jazz record label, and it's not Blue Note, it's not uh, Verve or any of those big labels. It's another label, and you can usually find these records under 10 bucks, usually under five. And if you're paying anything over $10, you're getting ripped off because they're not, you can find them elsewhere for a lot less. And the label is Pablo. Pablo Records put out some fantastic jazz albums. This is Montreux 77 with Oscar Peterson, Dizzy Gillespie, Clark Terry, Eddie Lockjaw Davis. Pablo and Mont Ma Montreux, 1977. Here's another um, Oscar Peterson, Pablo Records. They all have that same kind of look to them, the covers. So you can find them pretty simply. Usually the black and white. They have two types. They basically have the black and white covers like these. Or they have the Pablo Live with a red banner on top. 
This one is uh, Benny, uh, Benny Carter, live and well in Japan. Here's Count Basie get together. That's a real typical Pablo uh, cover. This is what, uh, Freddie Green, Eddie Lockhart Davis, Clark Terry. And one more just to give you an idea. This is Basie Jam number two. Another Pablo record. That's the label for Pablo, pretty much all of them. All of them. And this one is great. This has uh, Count Basie, Benny Carter, Clark Terry, Joe Pass, Louis Dawson on drums. So if you're into jazz, you're just getting into jazz, and you don't want to spend $30, $40 for uh, an original Blue Note or $100 for a Blue Note, and you want to try out some jazz, definitely try out Pablo Records. Always good quality, always good prices. Yeah, this one, actually, this one, I just noticed on the back, I bought it for $5.25, and it happens to be red vinyl, which you don't see very often, but that's pretty cool. So those are the five artists you can get for $5 and under, and a bonus, a jazz label to look for, that usually you can find for $10 or under all the time. All right, I hope that uh, you enjoyed that and gave you some ideas of what to look for. And uh, if anybody has any other artists they want to show of uh, great artists you can buy cheap, I'd love to see what you have to say. Okay, hey, until next time, everybody take care and peace.